Well, what the fuck? And then this guy's standing there like, hey, hey, you're not supposed to be able to shoot guys that are your teammate. Oh, oh. But then, say I can't shoot now. I move to those stuff. Oh, oh, bullets are hitting him. Bullets are hitting him, but he's not dying. And this game is retarded, shitty, broken, crap. Oh, my God. This is one game you should not buy for more than a dollar. Come on. Oh, because the writing show, the writing show, the writing show. The writing show. To say son of a bitch, the same view who hates most Nintendo shit. I'm the one who calls games what they are. I even own a 360 and hate Gears of War. Guy who spends his money on games, fucking cards. Just a funny guy who became a YouTube star. You, you're watching me. Slow motion, run out to him, put a shotgun to your head, and while they're going, what the fuck? You just click the trigger and boom! Their fucking head explodes. It's wonderful. It's wonder. Full amount of polishing and how much fun it is to play when zombies are coming at you at full speed and you're playing on hard mode and they're grabbing you and your partner's getting eaten and you're trying to break free but the other one grabs you and they gotta shoot that motherfucker's head off and you get the idea. But for some reason I just took that leap of faith and said, come on, be good wheel man. And by that night when I played this game I had one thing in my mind, I will never ever buy a fucking game from Midway again. I have the main character named Milo, which by the way, for a guy that has a voice like, I will kill you. For really? Milo? I mean, come on. Second of all, the characters are all fucking annoying, including Vin Diesel's one-liners of, I always watch my back. I mean, come on! Can the dialogue get any fucking worse? I don't know. Everything else is pretty much bad. The bad, oh my god, terrible voice acting. I'm talking about all of a sudden you're slashing and you hear these guys yelling at everybody, normal voice, and all of a sudden you hear this voice like, THEY ARE CHARGING! And it's like God just spoke to you from above and you're like, what the hell? I mean, it's that bad voice acting. Intro to the review. But I, I have to get this out of the way. Not that many people should be surprised. Usually the reviews and critics can go kiss my ass on most shit. You know, I like to get my own view on things. But Iron Man, exception here, this thing is a piece of shit. Holy fucking hell. I, this game, Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't even have the words for it. Just watch the review. Who in their right mind makes a flying game and you only use one analog to fly? I fucking shit you not. Use one analog to fly. We have a billion fucking airplane games and you can't get a fucking Iron Man game to use two analogs to freaking fly. I, Sucks almost, I can't shit. God! Fucking scissors are the worst scissors in the fucking world! I hope I'm not fucking going through my system. Alright, first thing we get... I don't know what that is. Oh my god! Got a load of fucking floor! So much white shit! It's like I'm in a motherfucking KKK. Iron Man, if you ever star in a game again like this, I will slap the shit out of you. I will slap the shit out of you, Tid Man. You hear me? Developers who created this, you deserve a smack too. I don't know what the fuck you were thinking. I don't know what you were smoking. But this game is worse than motherfucking Sonic 06. It's that bad.